Hi, deer season's on the horizon and I want to provide a tabletop review of a popular firearm for that platform. We're looking at the Savage 220. It's a 20 gauge bolt action shotgun uh, set up for 3 inch shells. You're looking at um, an overall length of 42.5 inches, um, a barrel length of 22 inches, an overall weight of six and three quarters pounds. You're looking at a black synthetic stock and uh, sights that are drilled and tapped and I've got it with uh, set up with worn mounts and a uh, Nikon um, Slug Hunter 3x9x40 sight. Um, this is a, a BDC sight set up specifically for slug hunting. Um, down here we've got a detachable magazine that holds two rounds. Um, it's a synthetic magazine. So uh, this shotgun is very interesting because what it is is um, almost more of a rifle than a shotgun. Um, and uh, that is a very good thing for deer hunters because um, traditionally we were stuck with uh, a weapon that basically was not designed or set up for the uh, accuracy um, and precision that um, was necessary to shoot a deer at long distance. You were stuck with your 12 gauge shotgun. Um, maybe you were lucky you put a rifle barrel on it, you'd shoot a slug through it, um, put a bead on that deer, and uh, most of us were probably good at about 50 yards, and the rest of it was kind of, you know, luck. But um, in addition to that rifle barrel specific for slug guns, uh, Savage has been able to introduce some other features that coupled with general advancements in uh, slug technology have enabled us to have a gun that's much more accurate. So uh, this gun is based off of the Savage 110 rifle. That's a, a rifle that was uh, designed in 56 and entered production in 1958. Um, it's the uh, longest running rifle in um, uh, production, in continuous production. And so you're looking at a design that is well regarded for um, accuracy and reliability. Um, a great platform to uh, build off of, um, even if it's maybe not the first platform you would think of when you're making a shotgun. And, uh, and so the 220, um, built off of that platform, has a number of features that are like a real rifle. Um, you're talking about um, a free-floating barrel, you're talking about dual pillar bedding. Um, you're talking about a trigger that is light and crisp and accurate. In fact, it's an adjustable trigger, um, anywhere between 1.5 and 6 pounds. And uh, the net result is uh, uh, a gun that's going to be accurate. Um, for me, it's been uh, very accurate within 50 yards. Um, I think it will be very accurate within 100 yards for me, and, and a talented shooter um, should be able to shoot uh, 200 yards even and uh, get uh, reasonable groupings for, for deer hunting so that's really quite unbelievable. Um, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, AccuTrigger technology. The AccuTrigger is um, a technology developed by Savage in 2002. It's uh, famous for its ease of use and also uh, the uh, exceptional uh, trigger feel that you get as a result of the technology. Um, it's adjustable and, um, and uh, basically what it is is a mechanism to prevent uh, the sear from firing. Uh, this is a safety mechanism here. Um, and uh, by introducing that safety measure you're able to have uh, a trigger that has uh, an extremely light and um, comfortable trigger pull uh, for a shotgun straight out of the box. So here I'll just uh, do a dry fire real quick. So, so smooth. I'll show you a diagram of that uh, technology. Um, what we're looking at is basically a trigger that has an additional pivot um, lever that prevents the sear from firing unless that interior kind of Glock, I don't know so what it comes to me is a kind of a Glock trigger, um, uh, prevents the sear from firing and yet enables you to be set up with um, a trigger that um, normally would have only been achievable if you had uh, either a custom shop rifle or a gunsmith 
working on your shotgun or you're just a tweaker and it's maybe not as safe or as reliable. Um, but um, it's a fully adjustable and uh, consistent, very uh, clean. It's sort of an industry standard. A sign that this uh, trigger was revolutionary was the fact that a lot of other um, manufacturers of firearms have adopted the technology in various ways. Um, so it's definitely a major feature on the uh, 220. The um, uh, rifle barrel technology along with the crisp trigger um, uh, is really accurate um, thanks to the ballistic advancements of, of Sabot uh, shotgun slugs and I want to talk about that technology just for a second. Um, I have here is just a picture of a uh, Remington AccuTip um, slug being fired from a firearm and the AccuTip slug is what's recommended to be used with this weapon. The uh, uh, technology of Sabot is basically that you um, have a um, plastic component to the projectile that uh, is able to um, eliminate some of the dead space that you would normally have with a slug so that um, when the projectile along, uh, when the projectile comes out you've got the plastic Sabot shell um, and the slug um, which is a smaller um, caliber and therefore able to be more ballistically engineered for accuracy um, and as you saw on that image of the uh, the uh, Sabbat slug um, a lot of different companies are using uh, additional aerodynamic technology to ensure that those slugs are accurate um, and so um, you're left with a weapon that um, has, has accuracy and precision um, that was otherwise not possible um, in other eras and at a very relatively reasonable price you're talking about uh, I got this gun for four hundred and fifty dollars um, and uh, for the uh, level of adjustment that you have in the trigger and the amount of accuracy you're able to obtain with the rifle barrel uh, Sabot slug technology um, you're really looking at a neat package um, a package which um, is enabling average hunters like me to be able to to plan their hunting differently and to um, uh, look at uh, shotgun hunting as not just the kind of leftover hunting that you do at the end of all the other seasons, but uh, really exciting in its own right and um, also uh, highly accurate if you're able to practice with it. Um, and uh, Sabbath shells aren't cheap, but it's been, been uh, fun for me to, to uh, fire off some rounds and uh, get that sight tuned in and um, I am convinced that uh, this is definitely the most accurate shotgun um, that I've ever owned and uh, I would not be surprised if it's one of the, the most accurate shotguns on the market. The professionals are definitely telling us that. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching this video with me um, and uh, please feel free to post comments or ask any questions in the uh, comments and uh, thanks again.